Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Rhythmizer, a gross beat alternative for Mac OS. Rhythmizer is a plugin that uh, allows you to manipulate audio through the use of gating, uh, glitching, um, re and repeats, and even time stretching. So to get started, you're going to navigate to your plugins folder, uh, and uh, depending on which uh, bundle you purchase, uh, you'll navigate to the M Rhythmizer plugin here. You're going to drag it to your track that you would like to add the effects to. Once there, you're going to hit the uh, plug and edit tool, the uh, button here. Uh, you're going to select a time tap, and the effect that I'll be auditioning is the uh, half speed effect that uh, many uh, producers use today. Uh, I'm going to navigate through uh, preset banks, uh, actually, sequence banks, and we're going to select half speed. Uh, I'm going to play it without the effect so you can get an idea of what it does if you're a first time user. So that's basically my loop there. Uh, with the effect enabled, this is how it sh sounds. So Rhythmizer is a pretty basic program. You navigate through the sequence packs or you can edit different parameters that you'd like. Uh, you can even also adjust the sequence length uh, to match uh, or where you want the effect to be triggered during your sequence. Uh, there's also uh, our reverse uh, uh, effect here. There's also a vinyl stop. All the great effects that you 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 would see in growth speed if you're an FL Studio user. Um, there's also um, some more effects here. There's also a little bit more complex ones here, and under volume, there's a few uh, gating uh, sequences here, stuff like that. But uh, let's get back to the half speed. Um, what I really like about this program. Is that um, you can even also just as you would in Gross Beat, you can also add more anchor points to adjust uh, the uh, the half speed uh, sequence. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn off the uh, gate there. So by double clicking, you can add so you can add more anchor points and add more variations to the speed. So and that's basically it. Um, uh, it's pretty simple. You select you navigate to your sequences, select the preset that you would like to use, and uh, work on your project uh if you have any questions leave a comment below and uh i'll see if i can better assist you uh thanks for watching guys